happy to have you with me as we look at Heaven's five-step success formula. Let's get started. This is course 101 for Crush It With Christianity. And let's dive right into what we're going to be looking at here. The course game plan. First thing we're going to do is look at the outline for the actual course. We're going to look into the intro for the course as well, uh, which consists of looking at the fact that the Bible is a mirror, and we'll talk more about that momentarily. So let's get started. Now, here's a visual of the outline for the course. There's five steps I've put together for you that are based upon eternal truth. So that should weigh in on things for you, that this is not just some ordinary outline, but it's actually based upon eternal truth. Look at the first step, you had ears to hear. Second step, you changed your mind. Third step, you stopped gambling with your soul. The fourth step is that you experienced a conversion. And the fifth step is that you abided in Christ. So regarding heaven, if you want to be successful as far as life goes and making it to heaven, that seems to be the main thing here. If you miss heaven, you miss everything, right? So I'm excited once more to be with you and to give you this kind of blueprint here for the success formula for heaven. All right, so starting off with the introduction, before we get into those steps, let's just do a little intro here regarding the Bible. And again, the Bible acts as a mirror. So that's the first thing you need to know, that it reflects the way things really truly are. Just as a mirror shows you what you look like when you look in it, so does the Bible show you what you really look like because you're a spirit. So you need the Bible to tell you what you really look like, regardless of if you agree with that or not. Hopefully you'll see the logic and the reason and the wisdom that comes with using the Bible as a mirror for yourself in this life. The next thing we're going to look at is that the Bible is actually the best selling book ever of all time. So much so that they stopped listing it. Pretty impressive. So how did you get to heaven? Well, you understood that the Bible is actually a mirror to reality. The suggestion I'm going to make is that you use the Bible to check yourself. So look at these folks. What person wakes up in the morning and before they head out, they don't check the mirror. They don't check their hair. Uh, pretty understandable that you'd want to look in the mirror before you head out. Maybe there's something that needs to be tweaked or shaved or plucked, right? So you get the idea. Well, that seems reasonable to us, but why is it unreasonable that we would use the Bible to look at as a mirror to get us through this life and to heaven when God has given it to us freely. And it has come at a major cost, by the way, just to get that Bible into your hands or onto your computer screen. People have actually died so that you can see God's word. Well, I'm happy to let you know that you can obtain that Bible, as I mentioned, recently here online. You can get it in hard copy at bookstores. Oftentimes you can find them for free uh, in hard copy format, but certainly there's some beautiful Bibles that you can get and pay for those. And there's really no excuse why you wouldn't own a Bible and be able to read it. Why would you not want to read the best-selling book of all time? Why would you not want to know what's inside of it? And understanding it is a whole other thing, but at least to know some of the content and actually ultimately as much of the content as you could understand and you could know, why wouldn't you want to make that an objective? Hopefully you will as we talk about this more. Well, 
Who says it's the best-selling book of all time? Well, here's a pretty credible source, I think. Most people respect the Wall Street Journal, consider it a uh, credible source. Well, it's the Wall Street Journal that's citing it as the best-selling book of all time. Just wanted to share that with you here, August 26, 2011, the King James Bible, the best-selling book of all time. The most quoted book in the English language. It's celebrating its 400th anniversary this year with conferences and exhibits in museums and libraries. So something to consider, not just suggesting here in this course that you read some book that has no relevance. We're talking about the best selling book of all time. Now, Bible Hub, I put a little highlight, a red highlight around this name, Bible Hub. Biblehub.com, there's all kinds of different online Bibles. I would refer you to this one, biblehub.com. If you're on your desktop and even on your mobile, you can use that. Here's also an app for you to look up, download through your app store, depending on what device you're on. Uh, Uversion, the Bible app. That's a fantastic app. Certainly there's others out there, but I'd recommend that. And here you go, on any device that you have, you can and I would suggest should have the Bible on there. It's the best-selling book of all time. Why would you not want that? Okay, so just some quick takeaways for this section. Uh, we talked about that the Bible is a mirror. That it reflects the way things really truly are. It's the best-selling book. We just looked at that from the Wall Street Journal ever, period. And as I mentioned, they stopped listing it. If they listed it, they'd have to list it. It would always be number one at the top. They just stopped listing it. Most people don't know that probably. Uh, Biblehub.com is what I will recommend as well as the Uversion app for your mobile. So that's the introduction. A few takeaways for you there. And up next, we're going to dive deeper into the five steps that I mentioned at the onset. We're going to look at them one by one. So I will see you in the next module.